Got my, uh, got my peanut butter bagel, my cup of tea, Gilmore Girls, and my little cat. Good morning! Oh, shit. Hello, everybody! How are we? This cat here stuck in my camera. <laughs> and everything that I own. So I'm starting off a vlog with wet hair again. Um, Soz. Not the UK at all. So I'm off work again today, obviously. I don't know why I always say that. Like, I only vlog when I'm not in work because when I'm in work, I literally go to work, come home, eat my dinner and go to bed. So, um, yeah, I vlog on my days off. Harry is in work as it is Friday. My cat is on a mad one, running around like a weirdo. Blue, why are you being such a weirdo? <laughs> Do you want to go outside? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Do you want to go outside? <laughs> He's so cute. I'll, I'll let him out, but there's this ginger cat that honestly hates blue and he keeps <laughs> like waiting for him. So I'm a, I'm a bit like scared to let him out sometimes, but I mean, Blue's a cat, he can look after himself. Is he there? Blue don't do this, either go out or stay in mate. Come on. Thank you. So yeah, like I said, today is Friday. Um, I've just got myself like dressed and done my makeup and stuff. I just need to blow dry my hair in a bit. But I need to clean and I know I cleaned in my last vlog, but I really need to clean this time. I'm going to do literally a sweep of the whole house um, and just get as much as I can done. I'm going to set myself a timer for maybe an hour and yeah, see how much I can get done. I've got a Snapchat. Oh, it's from Harry. <laughs> um, so yeah, first of all, I need to write, to write down a list of what I need to do. So here's my little list. It's very dark today, like the clouds are just meh. You can't even see. Yeah, it's very dark. Oh, look at my roses. I bought those yesterday and as a little orange, pink and yellow roses. So oh, nice. Anyway, oh, look at my trousers. Sorry, so many tangents. These are from New Look and little fun fact i think these are about 20 quid if they still have them i'll link them down below for you but i found them in store and the size 8 had a 12.99 sticker and barcode on it so obviously they had to sell it to me for that price but i think they're about 20 quid but i just got lucky they're so nice they're really comfy they feel like pajamas so nice blues toy anyway let's um actually concentrate on what is happening so Put makeup away and clean coffee table. I got ready on this sofa and I need to clean all this away because it's a little messy. Even though I have to keep all the DVDs and stuff under there and all that jazz because I got nowhere else to put it. So that'll have to stay but this like all needs a wipe down and stuff like this, you know. Then I need to make the bed and tidy the bedroom, empty the dishwasher and clean the kitchen, put a wash on, hoover everywhere, comfort all the fabrics, that is um, fabric softener and water diluted in a spray bottle and then I just spray it everywhere, thank you Mrs Hinch, um, take bin and recycling out and then I'm going to go out and get my nails done. So um, I think I'm going to kind of speed clean this with you, like do a time lapse because I mean... I'm not a cleaning channel, <laughs> but I do love cleaning, don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to speed through 
all of this and you can just see how I do it anyway. And um, yeah, I'm going to set myself a timer on my phone for an hour and get it done. Put Gilmore Girls on whilst I'm doing it. <laughs> taking about an hour and a half in the end but it's done now my house smells so nice two things I am obsessed with at the moment smell scent wise the first one is this festive spice reed diffuser from next I've I wanted this last year but I never ended up going to get it but my mum was here last weekend with my brother we went into next and I said that I like have had my eye on it for ages so she very kindly bought it for me she was like, um, call it a housewarming present. I was like, oh, okay. But um, yeah, it just sits in the middle of the coffee table. And honestly, oh, look at my, look at my little tidy sofas. <laughs> and it just fills the room with scent. My hair is like almost dry. <laughs> That's how long I've been doing this for. The other thing is as a flora sink. So what I do is, you probably saw me do it um, when I was doing the time lapse. I just put some boiling water from the kettle in the bottom of the sink and then a cap full of Zaflora. I ca um, currently have um, mountain air in this one and it just literally makes the whole kitchen smell so nice and because I keep the kitchen door open it just like wafts throughout the whole place and it smells amazing. I might go do another one like a warm cinnamon or maybe a winter spice in our ensuite bathroom sink. I don't know whether to do warm cinnamon or winter spice. I'm going to do cinnamon just because I have um, two bottles of cinnamon and I need one of them to spice. I'm just going to boil the kettle. Oh my god. So yeah, Zoflora um, is amazing. You can use it for so many different things and it's a disinfectant. So it kills all your germs and smells amazing. I haven't actually cleaned this sink so it's a bit rank. I don't know if you can see it's like towel bits on it but I'm going to put the plug in I may as well just wait for the kettle to boil actually I've got my pine duck going in there <laughs> I may as well just put 
put a cap full. Shit. The cap full in. Well, sometimes I do it in the cap, sometimes I just pour it in like that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of boiling water in the bottom and have a lovely smelling bathroom and bedroom. Woohoo! Pretty bed, all made, washing folded. I'm just on a roll today, guys, on a roll. Also, Harry bought me a Maltese's advent calendar and I'm very excited about it. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> so I'm off out. I was gonna go and get my nails done, but I don't know if I can be bothered. <laughs> like they do need doing, like they're really um, outgrown. But I don't know if I can be bothered because I've got to go and pick up some stuff from the shops as well. And the days just run away with me when I have a day off. It's 10 past two already. And I'm going over my friends tonight just for like a little get together. There's only four of us. We'll probably just watch some films and eat some food. But I don't know what time that is. I don't know what time Harry gets in from work so I can actually say hello. I don't know. Anyway, I've got to go get. I've got to go get some petrol first and foremost. It's been flashing at me for two days. Let's hope I can actually get to the petrol station without breaking down. That'd be great. And um, yeah, let's go. My camera's definitely gonna fall off there. The road is so busy today. I think it's because it's Friday and it's Black Friday actually and a lot of people are off work maybe. I don't know. Um, I just went to Home Bargains. That was my first stop before I got petrol to get some really exciting things like prepaid out. I got some carpet fresh in winterberry scent because it makes your carpet smell amazing. I've got some kitchen roll. I got a, a spray mop for the floor. <laughs> and I also got some nail varnish remover. Yep. And it cost a tenner as well. Bargain. Um, so now I'm heading to like the shopping centre bit. My hair is crazy today, please ignore it. Oh, Mr. Blue, you're being so cute. <laughs> I think he wants treats, because he's like all purring and rubbing up my legs. <laughs> oh, Bluey. I got him a new festive collar, because I'm that cat mum. Anyway, I thought I would show you what I got. My camera died when I was out, which is why I didn't really film much. And also, like, filming in shops is something that I've, I'm re always really embarrassed to do and I feel like I need to work on. I know in some shops you're not allowed to film and stuff, but um, I don't usually because I'm just really embarrassed, but whatever. Anyway, I'll show you what I got. Half of it's not exciting at all, but I thought you'd like to know. Here's my kitchen roll. Beautiful. Here's my spray mop, because I'm not being funny, the kitchen floor and the bedroom floor need a good um, mop. But I haven't had one yet, and I've just been using floor wipes, which is fine, it still cleans it, but the bedroom is huge mungus. <laughs> That's not a word. Um, so, something like this would be like perfect, and I'll put like a Zaflora mix in there, get it clean, beautiful. So, um, I went in Primark. I didn't actually get that much, I don't know why they gave me such a massive bag. Um, and obviously <laughs> I said to myself, I'm just going to pop in Primark, just have like a browse and then pop into Boots and then go home. I didn't go get my nails done like I said. I just couldn't be bothered, it was too much of like a detour and I just couldn't be bothered to be honest. So I'll get them done another day this week. Um, but yeah, I popped in Primark and I ended up getting a couple of bits, just like cosy stuff and maybe like a new little outfit don't know how i feel about it but like you guys can let me know i also got cotton pads this is my favorite carpet um freshener thing this is in the frosted winter berries scent it's by 1001 it's so good like your whole house smells delicious after you use it um and then i'll show you what i got from boots i just got some things 
um, that I was running out of, like my foundation, which is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover in Porcelain. I mix this with a bit of um, L'Oreal True Match, um, but I have that in a darker shade because this is like really pale. And then if I mix the two together, it's like a really nice consistency. And I've done that for a long time, ever since I um, used to fake tan all the time. And I always had to mix my foundations to get like the right shade. So yeah, bought that because I use it every day. Bought another um, collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair because I use that every single day. And I also use this every day. This is my favourite brow pencil. This is the Brow Artist Expert by L'Oreal. This is in the shade Cool Blonde and it has like a wind up um, product on one end. Um, and it's the perfect colour for my eyebrows and the other end is like a spoolie little brush. And then I picked this up because I realised I don't really have any autumn wintery kind of lip colours and I always wear the same lip colour every single day. As you can see I swatched a few on my hands but I ended up getting the Exaggerate Lip Liner from Rimmel. I have these in a bunch of different colours, they're so good, they stay on all day and I use them as like a full lip colour usually. And um, this one is in number 64 Obsession, it's just like a dark berry and I thought it would be really nice this time of year. Maybe I'll rock it, maybe I won't, we'll see. So onto what I got from Primark. It's so dangerous going in there, you're like, oh, I'll just have a little look and then you end up buying loads of stuff because it's so cheap. I got this jumper which was £10. Um, uh, I'll do some try on clips for you. I don't know if I'll have time to do them today because it's already five past four and I need to eat. Um, I need to edit my apartment tour and then I'm going over to my friend's house for the night like I said. I just had to go and import some footage because my memory ran out. But I was talking about this jumper, I think. Yeah, it's just a plain white um, white or cream jumper. It's kind of like mohairy but it's really, really soft and glorious. And I just thought this could go with anything. You could pair it with necklaces and then like nice trousers or jeans and a belt, tuck it in in the front. It would just be lovely. And yeah, really like this. £10. And then I also bought, hear me out, I'm not really a leopard print kind of gal. I mean, I've really, I've always liked leopard print. Like I've never been, I know some people think it's quite tacky. And from the, the past few months, um, it's been really popular, isn't it? It's like come back and everyone's gone leopard print crazy. And I thought I could just wear this with a bunch of different thick stuff if it looks nice. So I just got it. It's just a leopard print skirt. Um, it looks very short and it says it's high waisted as well. But the waist does look quite big. Maybe I should have got a six, but um, we'll see. And I just thought even with this jumper like tucked in and then I could wear a little belt um, some like tights and boots. That would be so nice and I could even wear that to work um, and it was only £12 and if I decide I don't like it I can just take it back. Um, it's just like an A-line style cut off at the bottom. Yeah, just think it's so cute. Uh, I'm going to try everything on for you as well. I don't know if I'll manage to do it today um, because I've got so much to do but I'll definitely do a try on when I edit this together. And then the last thing I got is just just some loungewear. This jumper, I've seen these in Primark loads and um, they've got loads of different colours and I was going to get it in like my actual size but this is called a small and it's only a 10 to 12 but I'm guessing that they're oversized anyway um, and it's huge. This is massive. This is like a male large or extra large and it says it's a 10 to 12 so it's clearly very very oversized but I put it on and I was like do you know what I will not take this off in my house and it's fleecy on the inside like oh my god I just love the colour it's like oh, it's kind of a mustard yellow but it's a bit more yellow than mustard um just with leggings I will literally live in this like just you wait you will see me in this so much and how much was it I think it was yeah only eight pounds bag love that so that is everything I got. I'm now going to put my food on the stove. I'm just doing some like little pasta things I have. Um, I love the um, spinach and ricotta um, little pasta shells. What are they called? Tortelloni, tortellini, torture something. But um, yeah, me and Harry did a food shop yesterday, so we've got plenty of these. They do them in loads of different places, as does Tesco's, Aldi's. The Aldi ones are really good but we happened to be in Asda yesterday. 
They take like five minutes to do. So nice. Just chuck them in the pan in some water. And then I like to put garlic salt on it. And it's honestly delicious. Probably not the healthiest. Well, I mean, it's not that bad. But also, it's like November, nearly December. So who really cares? Yeah, I didn't take my recycling out. Judge me. Or don't. I don't really care. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Blue, Blue, it's not your dinner time yet, my love. I'm just having dinner early. He's like, oh my God, where's my food? And yeah. <laughs> so cute. So food is on the stove. So now, I'm watching one of Zoella's really old vlogs. I've been snacking on Pringles, sour cream and onion, the best Pringles. Um, and now I'm going to edit my apartment tour. Have I imported out all the clips? Oh, I have as well. Oh, yes. So prepared, Bethan. <laughs> the only thing she's ever been prepared with in her life. Got that uploading. I'm so cold. I've got the heating on. But I'm freaking freezing. I'm going to leave that to upload because I'm going to head to my friend's house now. Harry was meant to be home, but he had to pop to his dad's on the way home. So I'm probably not going to get to see him today, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But we do live together. So it's not like we're going to spend that much time apart. He doesn't really like being on camera. That's why I don't really film him very much. He's not like a... He's not a camera -y guy, you know what I mean? Um, that's okay, some people aren't. Oh, 25%, I need to take my charger with me. So hungry, I'm gonna take my rest of my bar of chocolate to eat in the car. Even though my friend Georgia lives like 30 seconds away. <laughs> and I'm sure she will have chocolatey treats. Oh God. <laughs> Trying to move the washing line. Okay, light off, light off. Um, yeah, Harry's has popped to his dad's, but he is coming home before he goes to his mate's house tonight. Um, so I'm gonna leave the heating on just cause we realized that the colder is getting outside, this flat gets so cold. So cold. Um, leave the heating on and you can choose whether or not he wants to turn it off when he gets in. I'll tell him that it's still on. Ugh. Blue's been fed. I think I'm gonna take Articulate Your Life, if you can see that with me. It's such a fun game. And it's just going to be me and three other friends. Oh, I feel all flustered even though I'm not. Do you know what I mean? Right. I'm heading off. Um, I might film, I might not. Like, like I said, no one's really used to the whole filming situation, so we'll see. But um, yeah, so if this is the end, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm sure I will see you very soon. Um, <laughs> anyway, love you guys. See you in my next video. Oh, that's gonna be that would be a good. One. It looks cool. Oh, Luke, you really want to get that log to catch? I think it has actually. By the time we actually paper? come out to do that's anything paper. with the fire, it's gonna be all gone. That's paper. That's why it's not. That's why it's. Oh, do you think kicking it's good because you'll get the the um, soil out the bottom? You'll like shake it out a bit. Get some air underneath. And that's just get, keep it going. What? Yeah, kick the bottom.